he's, he's not the only one here in this room that doesn't live in, in El Sereno, LA 90032, okay? I'm one of them, along with uh, the secretary over there. So I'd like to know from him, how does he qualify legally to be able to run uh, in terms of the stakeholder part? Because, as I agree with them, he doesn't have to live here. He could just buy a hamburger from Jack in the Box, okay? And that makes him a stakeholder. Everybody here knows, and he knows, that I don't agree with him in a lot of things. But, Thank you. but, that, yes. but that's the issue. He has the right to run, whether I like him or not. He's relevant. Okay, he legally, I feel he has the right to run. Which okay. all of these candidates have to still, like we had talked right. about, it's not like pending and gun, verification. We, 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 yeah, okay. pending all of that. Yes. But, you know, we all have a vote here when the finally okay. the secretary calls for the vote, okay? Um, uh, the other thing is, uh, um, what we have with heaven here is really a failure of communication, okay? The other thing I would like to let you know in terms that uh, I feel that since we're in this discussion pertaining to this young man, while uh, Anthony is being president here at the board, down over there at the senior citizen, uh, we used to sign in. He's right there. We used to all sign in. Okay, you know very well what I'm talking about. And, and he passed a petition for all of us. We were all thinking we were signing the sign-in sheet. And there was a petition of whatever he was doing, whatever the petition That's called. That's not the table right now. Yes, but it, it, it involves, what is it, the other word for honesty, the other professional well, we, word? Mr. Chavez, we don't want to go into that. We, you don't have to vote to have him on our Yes, board. but I think they have a, I have a duty to inform the board in terms of what kind of a board member he's going to be. He's okay, not an honest you. board member. Thank you, Mr. Chavez. So if Thank you, Mr. Chavez. you can know who's voting down. Thank you. Down. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. I mean, you're all fools, and I have to, I have Mr. to, to Mr. Yeah, Mr. Thank that. You. I don't want to see him get elected, because we're going to see nothing but trouble, even though he has the right to run. Mr. Chavez, thank you. Mr. Otto President. Um, are you still allowed to have a board if you're not elected? Yes, you are. Okay, you're not elected. Yes, you are. Okay, so you can have your position when just by buying something? Yes, yes. I thought that was being changed. So it is being changed. Uh, it is in the process good. of being changed with the planning commission, and it has to go through the okay. whole it's process. In the process. It's in the process. And um, but Mr. but but Mr. Aguilar still has to submit to them the required paperwork, and they do require him to submit certain documents verifying these things. I know you were part of the previous board. Why do you why do you want to be on the board in an area? Because I make a long story short. I've first of all I've done a lot of volunteer work. To begin with, uh, I did. I took on some issues in El Sereno, working with the voice back, you know, earlier. Uh, I took on the pedophile issue right here at the Mariana Apartments, the clustering. I took that issue on. That was like a four or five months issue. I was also taking some uh, liquor licensing issues that I've done. All volunteer, nothing paid, so there's no money getting involved. I also helped deliver the paper back in the previous board. I was, and I was submitting articles on different topics in the area. So, well, giving them the sources and stuff. So, and I served on the uh, Atlanta Project uh, board, I was a board member on the project, which did become the Zelser. So that was what I did in the previous board. Uh, and I did some shopping and, and here and restaurants here in El Serena. So I am a shopper here. So I spent a lot of time in El Serena, simply on volunteering. I mean, the, the pedophile issue was all in within LA 32, okay? And I spent a lot of time uh, uh, chasing down the manager of the Miami, going to uh, board meetings uh, uh, at the county board of supervisors and at the school board, so, which is uh, just time and resources that I never ever got paid for. But I did it because the right thing to do. Right now, currently, I'm also volunteering for the Beacon uh, News, which is gonna be a new, uh, newspaper in the area, and I'm going to do the same thing for them. I'm going to have articles, topics, and issues that I'm going to be relating, and I'll be helping you to read the paper, and hopefully, with some good luck, I can find some advertisers to support the newspaper. And that paper is not just the sole El Sereno paper, that counts a regional paper that covers uh, LA 32, Lincoln Heights, and Wall Heights. So, I mean, as far as my volunteer work, I got a history of it, you know, um, 
people that know me on the board know that I got history here. So uh, it ain't like I'm a Johnny Come Lately in El Sereno, I got nothing to do with El Sereno, or I've never done anything to benefit the quality of life of El Sereno. Thank you, Mr. Okay, Chairman. so I've done my share. Well, Mr. Chuck, you already had your turn. Yeah, but I wasn't finished. You guys cut me because off. you are going off the topic, Mr. Chuck. Okay, but I have something. You asked him a question. I'd like to ask him one. Yes, let me, let me just let me go around the board and I'll go to the topic. Thank you. Okay, since he asked you a question, I would like to ask you, because it all sounds pretty, what you said, I would go with both hands for you. Jacob, what he said. But I want to ask you a question, okay? I want to qualify the yes, question. That's what I said, what I said. I that too. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Um, why were you removed as president of the Boyle Heights Neighborhood Council? Well, yeah, I'm going to make you look so pretty. Right. I pretty much, I mean, my opinion was this. There was a group of people that refused to have a forum, and uh, my board was on probation. And uh, uh, there was like a boycott on the forum. And in other words, board members purposely boycotted the board. They didn't want to attend the board, make sure they had a forum. So that basically put us in exhaustive efforts. And uh, it, 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 when I couldn't make uh, one meeting, I was missing one board member. Uh, we basically went to uh, exhaust the average. You ever wonder why we did not have a Thank you, Mr. Chavez. No more personal. Okay, there's no more. Anyone else on this? Like to ask a question? I'm going to make a brief point. My motion is based on the bylaws, and I'd like to ask that the directors be fair and inclusive. Okay, but I, I understand that. But anyone else would like to ask Mr. Chavez? Okay. Yes. Um, I, too, have known Mr. Aguilar for a while, and I have seen him out in our community. I don't know what he's done, you know, behind all of the Marion apartments and all that. But first time I have seen his diligence, I've seen his commitment. I have been to several events where he's been there and <coughs> spoken nothing but highly of his panel, given us an opportunity to see him come back. I think it would be it would be a great asset to us. Thank you. Ms. Um, I just have a question because I know I want to make sure if you really want to be on this board. Is it something you really genuinely can commit yourself to do? Well, the thing is this. If, if I'm going to commit to this newspaper, um, I would like to have this newspaper reflect what's going on on the board. I want to kind of put this board, kind of like have some articles from the board in the paper, kind of like hold us a little bit accountable. Like um, the issues, for example, on the uh, that, that, that school that we had, you know, it was a community uh, that, that opposed the neighborhood meeting. Uh, we didn't have a newspaper to reflect that. Now we do. So I mean, what I what I want to do is just simply, if, if I'm a volunteer, I would like to have a say here, you know, because it takes a lot of effort when you uh, volunteer in a newspaper. I don't know if you guys ever deliver a paper or you ever try to get advertisers, and I'm not even getting paid for it, or try to get articles on, involved in the paper. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. Thank you, Mr. Engler. His attendance was this bad. Excuse me, Thank Mr. Chuck, okay. please. Yeah, Mr. Aguilar, since the last time you were, um, Mr. McCord, you were part of the board. Um, I know that you left the board um, and then um, uh, sort of came back to work with the voice and do other stuff. But um, in the process of doing that, I mean, I don't recall seeing you at many meetings other than maybe one meeting of the other 32 neighborhood council. And I'm not quite sure what, um, how you're involved, on, you know, your volunteer work in the last year or so has been in El Sereno, so can you talk a little bit about that? Especially the fact that we haven't seen you physically, maybe through Scott and other people on the board, maybe you know what is going on on the board. Uh, and then you know what uh, are some of things that are happening in well, the this, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is what happened. Last year I was working two jobs uh, all the way up to December 21st. I was working two jobs. Okay. Um, December 21st I had an accident on the job. Um, I was laid out in a lot of pain all the way up to March, maybe even April. Okay. Um, so yeah, I dropped out of the scene. Out of the scene means I dropped out of the scene, literally. Uh, then after April, I started getting better, where I could start, you know, walking around with crutches. Before, I just had my leg immobilized for a while. So I'll be honest, the, the last seven months have been difficult for me because I've had um, 
a knee injury that kind of that first prevented me from driving and prevented, prevented me from uh, getting around because of the pain. Now, the pain has subsided. I'm still going to probably be facing an operation soon. So I'm still kind of like dealing with that, with the uh, being mobile or being, you know, getting around issues. So yeah, I, I, that's why I've, I've been absent from December all the way up to April. Then I started coming back, back around and in June and, and so on. I started making myself coming, coming out, coming out for meetings. But before, I, I was in a lot of medication. I wasn't, in, I couldn't. Could drive. I was a biking, so I wasn't able to drive for like about three months or four. So just to follow up, just Mr. Aguilar, in terms of your health, they're going to operate. So is that going to affect your attendance on the board? Well, if, if yeah, I'll be out for about four to six weeks, okay. and that's just the way it is. It's just because that's because I'm going to be immobilized for four to six weeks. But then after that, I should be able to get around. Okay. Mr. Uh, no, wait. Oh, I have a question. <laughs> Minister Johnson, you mentioned that you uh, are on this board and you don't live in the area. How did you qualify to be on this board then? Uh, I mean, we're going to be like, you know, compared to two Wait a minute. Uh, 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 I'm Mr. Membrano. My uh, documentation for eligibility was substantiated with the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment. I don't think my eligibility is germane to this topic. No, it is because no, I have to say that. Mr. Aguilar, if you don't mind, we, we do have to keep moving. 
standing on this, so I'd like yes. to let the rest of the board, if anybody would like to make a statement. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to make a statement. Mr. Pacheco? Yeah. You know, I don't understand the whole idea of the chair is to be fair. And so sometimes the chair seems to want to push a certain agenda and then uses the bylaws to that effect. Then turns around and uses the bylaws when now it doesn't want. I would wish it would be fair. The rest of the candidates did not get this grueling. Uh, and let me, let me finish, please. You know, it's, I, I feel as a board member, I mean, I've said it before, we have a right to, to speak our mind, unless it becomes a point where it becomes personal. And so, what I'm finding here is that time and time again, I know Jose that he can be controversial. I ruled him out of order just like I ruled you out of order because you guys weren't staying on focus. And we're not staying on focus here either in terms of the bylaws. How can we do this to this person who has proven himself to work for this community? I was the vice chair of the central group of the, of the Sierra Club. Jose was there. I went to the hillside and went involved in the hillside of uh, ordinance. Jose was there. Jose has always, as a matter of fact, sometimes he doesn't get to earn a living. That's what I was talking about. Just like Mr. Chavez doesn't earn a living here either, nor does he live here, nor does he own property. But we don't rule people like this. And it seems like there's something very wrong here. It's very unfair. It's very unlawful. I hope that the attorney would help us one day to realize that what we're doing, we keep changing these rules to, to, to some kind of hidden agenda. And I believe it's a hidden agenda. Matter of fact, the way, that, and I hope that it's being recorded, the way this, this meeting is going, it almost feels like there's been a serial meeting that occurred in the background somewhere. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pacheco. Mr. McGuire. Yeah, I, I agree pretty much wholeheartedly with what Hugo said, and Anthony, you're spot on. This has nothing to do with how the procedures are on Mr. Aguilar or anyone else got to the position where they are right now. The, the question at hand is filling the vacancies of the seat. We need to go down step by step and make sure those vacancies are seated. At the very least, Mr. Aguilar has been a warm body and has come to the meetings and has voted and has created a number of forums. Okay? <clears throat> Going back to what, what Mr. Santiago said, and I think any, right on, man, I'm, I'm glad you brought that point up, but I think you were misguided. The fact that Mr. Aguilar or myself or anybody else on this board might be critical of our elected officials, we need them here. We don't have a relationship with the councilman and do as the councilman said. Yeah, the councilman, councilman yeah. has a relationship yeah. with this board well, that does what this community you. wants Thank to you, do. Thank you, Mr. McGuire. And if Mr. Aguilar is going to, is going to facilitate that so that we have honest, open representation of our elected officials, then. Get Thank you, Mr. McGuire. Uh, Mr. Pantages, do you have anything to yes, say? Yes, a comment. Um, I'm a stakeholder because I live here. I own property here. I volunteer here. I go to Alhambra often, and I shop there, I eat there, but I don't consider myself a stakeholder. This is my community, so Fair one enough. of the things that I want on the board is for someone to represent this community. Do you feel that you can do that? I have. So I don't see why I wouldn't. So. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. The, Mr. Trump, yeah, I'm going to go back to your comment about working relationship with our councilman. If that that was the litmus test for me to get on this board, I would have never been on this board, okay? Because under the first under the first amendment, I have a right to petition and question my elected officer. That's fine. Okay? Go the way. And Mr. Aguilar. Just on the mere fact of what he did on the pedophile issue over on University Hills, to give him standing in t for a long period of time in Southern Sport, there were many people who stood up when pedophiles were being illegally dumped in this community. Okay? And believe me, because of that, he would probably never get in one one audience with the councilman again because rightfully so, he showed the councilman you needed to do his job in order to protect the health and welfare of people in this community. Thank you, Mr. John. No, I'm not done yet, Ms. Castro. Okay, I want one more comment. Okay. Ms. Castro, I'm really getting concerned here that there is a process 
that's not being done openly and transparency here on this board. And it's up to you to make sure that the selection process and all processes, whether it's interacting with Doug officials, whether it's working with board members, is done in an open and transparent, and most important, a objective, inclusive way. What is going on here is repugnant. This is the kangaroo court. This is not fair. This is because people have a political agenda and are taking it out on somebody like Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Okay. I was born and raised in LA, drove bus 27 years in MTA, went to Alcerino when it was Wilson High School, went to Lincoln after because I didn't make the football team. I'm working uh, with uh, Hazard Park, Safe Hazard Park, a preservation society, um, friends of Hazard Park uh, uh, also. And the issues here are all the same. This used to be Anglo American, it's all Mexican American, all the way down as far as I can see. And I don't agree. I, do, I have disagreements with everybody. I think when Mr. Chavez went to dinner with him, and he fed me, he fed him. Okay. Did you pay? You paid. Mr. That's Chavez. what I'm saying. Mr. Chavez. Chavez. It, you paid Mr. Chavez, which was great. If you really dislike somebody, you wouldn't pay. I would. Okay? And I know Scott, and I'm totally different from everybody probably in this, in this room. This is the first time I've ever been here. But not, not to the meetings, not to LA32. Me and Scott, we went and got the helmets for the cycling club that was here years ago. Uh, we, did, we did things for the neighborhood and we're still doing things. And we, what we're missing is that we're working for a, an overall community. Okay, and right now we're having bigger issues than just some other things that you have. Right now it's USC, which nobody concentrates on. No, but what I, meant, what I want to make is that there are other larger issues in the city, like crime, USC, the park, everything, even your park, whatever. So it's what the people have done here. Work doesn't mean necessarily 40 hour a week, getting paid. What he's done in volunteer work, probably none of you can even catch up to. And because somebody has personal issues, you have to leave it out. We wouldn't have to go full circle if you had, like you just said, we'll vote. If he gets elected here, if he doesn't, and then done, let them do it. Why can't everybody see reason? What she said originally, but then we would never have to discuss this. I came here to sleep. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. So let's go ahead and take it to a vote, Mr. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I, I realize that the, 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 the rules are that first the, the committee speaks and then, I mean, the board speaks and then the public, but I apologize. I received the bylaws later. So um, I have a, a question of clarification mm -hmm. um, for Mr. Johnson. Um, from what I see, there's one North region, two South regions, and one West region positions available. Is that correct? Um, I see right now. One I mean, North. There's two, two South three regions. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. Two South. Two South. One West. Right. One North. So if we're looking at placement, is that what you're looking at? Will be the. I'm, I'm looking at both placement and also the um, the bylaws because it specifically says that. Um, from the pools of Canada in the same region that did not win the election, pending if the candidate is still interested. There was a comment made earlier that there are some candidates that are still, that did did reply back to your email and say they were still interested. No, are they sorry, it was just you that replied back oh, to me. I did oh, contact okay. the other two, but I don't know what you like. Okay. But for you, yes, I did get a, a reply from you. Also. Okay, I was just, I just wanted to make sure to clarify that there wasn't any people that they were part um, were individuals from the South region that did go to the election process that were losers in the election before we're able to move on right. to the... Okay. Yeah. No, can I go ahead and talk about that? We're supposed to vote. Yeah, no, 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 no. let me just clarify. Let me just clarify what she The South region has only had three okay. throughout the whole time. So we are now needing two. Because now we have two, and we need two. Right. Well, when we first started, it's only been three the whole entire time. So now we're trying to catch up. We've always been only three. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so. Madam President, I have a point of clarification. In terms of my, because, yes, because I don't live in LA 32. I live in Lincoln Heights 31. I'm the Vice President of the Bicentennial Committee. That makes me eligible. Yeah, but, yeah, but you're not in question, Mr. I know, but it was brought okay. up because some people don't live For there. For clarification, Mr. So just to repeat, so we, for the East region, we voted in Mr. Antonio Flores. Right. For the North region, we voted in Ms. Angelica de la Torre. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, and they're uh-huh. still and the And for the West region, Ms. Capricia, if I see so she filled in the position yeah. as part of the election. So West region is still, I mean, actually. We need one. one, 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 one. Let, me, let me go down the list again yeah. so it's front end up. Okay. East region is has their four allowed directors. Yes. North region is minus two. South no, region, no, one minus one, right, okay. So there's one. Right. South region is minus two. Yes. West region is minus one. one. Yes. Okay. So what so we... So for the vote for Mr. Aguilar, which position will it be? Which area? In my opinion, I will say south. South. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a vote. Okay. All in favor of... Of seating Jose Aguilar as the replacement for the vacant South Region position, signify to raise your hands. All Republicans. Mr. Chavez, please leave oh, your comment to yourself. <laughs> so seven. Okay. Opposed? Abstention? Six. Okay. The we have a seven to six count. That would give that would give Mr. Aguilar position. Seven. That's the majority. You will live to regret it. So that was for the side. Mm-hmm. It's not that serious.
Well, I am a member of the Incidental Historical Society, as you stated. And um, some of the, we do have a website, we have a Facebook page, and um, everything that goes there. I don't agree with everything, but I am a member of it. So in essence, I, 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 do, um, I do support the mission of the Incidental Historical Society, and sometimes um, the Incidental Historical Society does is point out things in the neighborhood that um, to bring awareness to the community. That's one of the goals of the Incidental, um, Incidental Historical Society too. Um, share information with the community and sometimes point things out that some people may not agree with. And everything that is pointed out or stated is has evidence to back it up. So if that statement was, you're making reference to a particular statement, if that statement um, that you brought up, that is because of statements that were written by Mr. Ray Rios. Um, there's documentation that goes behind that statement. And um, we have letters for politicians also. Thank you, Mr. Percy. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Uh, yeah, I don't expect everyone to always agree on every topic. I think it's good to not agree. Um, you know, some, some of the comments when I first joined, I saw some of the emails from the Elsinore Historical Society that I didn't agree with. I read the mission statement and I, I didn't agree with that approach. But there are still stakeholders. And one thing about Yoli is that she is active. Everywhere I go, she is there. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm not talking about Alhambra. I see her now, Alhambra Costco, but in the neighborhood, I see her here everywhere. She's a stakeholder. No, she's not, no, no. But that's why I see her. But she's everywhere else we know. And I think uh, she should have been a board member from the very beginning. Thank you, Mr. Benjamin. Mr. McGuire? Yeah, I, I agree with both of what Scott and uh, George are saying. I mean, obviously, Yoli's a, a stakeholder, stakeholder. You know? mm -hmm. she's, she's, she's involved. And, there's, there's no denying that. But I did want to make a comment, sort of, sort of segue to what Scott was mentioning about the website. Uh, there, there is conflict with the website and with business of the neighborhood council. That that's, I'm not going to go into detail with that, but with committees, etc. And there's things that are written on the website that may be contrary to the way the business is conducted through through the uh, NC. And so I think, you know, I mean, I'll support you, you know, but I think you, they're really, you really